I am uh, Dr. Kajitan Tellis. I am a pediatrician working in Bangalore for the last 15 years now. Diagnosing TB in children is extremely challenging because one of the requirements of a diagnosis of TB is to have a positive bacteria that should be isolated from the child. So what we have to do is we have to first identify who is likely to get TB. So first, depending on the country that person is, the child is, if the child is there in an endemic area, there is a higher chance of tuberculosis. If the child is immunocompromised for any, any uh, reason, either because of taking medicines or because of having HIV, there is a higher chance of tuberculosis. So we have to identify the high-risk children and then go to the symptoms. So the symptoms of a longer duration of fever and cough, weight loss, along with not responding to and the regular antibiotics for a pneumonia or for the cough makes us highly suspicious of tuberculosis. After we, we suspect tuberculosis, then we have to do some tests. The most commonly tests that are done in tuberculosis are a chest x-ray, sputum examination and a tuberculosis skin test, a tuber tuberculin skin test. So among these, the chest x-ray may or may not give us a positive finding and again the sputum also may not be positive or in small children it is difficult to get sputum. So if the child is a little bit big and he gets out sputum, it's easier to diagnose. We do something called a zeal nelson stain. And we can also do a, a sputum culture, which however takes long time, six to eight weeks. If the child is not able to bring sputum and we are highly suspecting tuberculosis, we make the child bring out sputum by, we actually, uh, put a tube into the child's stomach and take out the swallowed sputum from the stomach that is called gastric aspirate and when we are even something called a bronchoalveolar lavage is done so that can uh, get, uh, get some some amount of sputum for which we can do the test in addition to the sputum there are other things that can be used uh, to get a micro microbiological sample if the child has uh, lymph nodes, the lymph nodes can be tested doing a fine needle aspiration cytology or a biopsy. If the child has uh, any tuberculosis of other areas like the bone marrow or the liver, we can take samples from there. And uh, there are other tests for tuberculosis uh, which are quite exotic tests like the PCR test or the immunoglobulin test. However, they don't give, they are not confirmatory tests. And uh, there's a skin test for tuberculosis called a Manto test or a PPD test. But this does not, it, it is again not a confirmatory test, it just tells that the child has an infection.